Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand identifiers, keywords and tokens in C. So before understanding that, we will try to understand what is meant by character set. You take any language, any language or any programming language. So any language is constructed from a set of characters. If you take English, English is constructed from the set of 26 characters. You take any word, any sentence, whatever you take in English, everything is constructed. So everything, uh, everything that is there in the in the in, in in English is constructed from those 26 characters. So that is what we call it as character state. Similarly, it, it will get applied to the languages also. Similarly, if you take any programming language, programming languages are constructed from the character sets. So C also C also is constructed from the character set. So the kind of characters that can be that are involved in the C programming language is it is uppercase alphabets, lowercase alphabets and uh, uh, digits 0 to 9 and special characters. Special characters like if you take the program in that we have used uh, parenthesis. So semicolon. So these are what we call it as special characters. Some special characters are involved. So using those characteristics, whatever the program that we are going to write, that program should be the the uh, uh, the content that is there in the program should be from those character sets only, from that character set only. Okay. So now let's try to understand the definitions of identifiers, keywords and tokens. Identifiers in C. So what is meant by an identifier? Identifier refers to the name given to the entities such as variables, functions and structures. So as we have seen in our program, in our program int a comma b comma c, in our previous videos we had the basic concepts. So there we have discussed about the int a comma b comma c. So uh, three variables are declared. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back come back here and every video in our channel is going to be a part of a course or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below so now what is meant by an identifier is it is the name given to the entities such as variables functions and structures so far we haven't seen functions so the name uh, the main is a function main function uh, that naming that 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 is provided to the variables structures and functions is what we call it as identifiers int a comma b comma c a b c or identifiers int uh, for example if you want to consider int height weight height and weight are variables and the names that we have used is uh, that that we have used are called as uh, identifiers printf printf function that uh, the printf is what we call it as uh, identifiers so the names that are used for variables functions structures are called as uh, uh, so on or called as uh, identifiers next is uh, how to write the how to create the identifiers the rules for identifiers uh, there are some set of rules beyond that we cannot uh, uh, name the identifiers we cannot name the uh, variables functions and uh, structures or structures so what are the those rules or the valid a valid identifier can have letters both upper and lower case it should have letters it can have letters both upper and lower case digits and underscores so these are the these are the things that should be there in the in a valid identifier it is upper it may be uppercase lower uppercase letter or a lowercase letter or digits 0 to uh, 9 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and underscores underscores are also allowed in the identifiers if, uh, for to create a valid identifier the first letter of an identifier should be either a letter or an underscore so the first letter in the identifier should always should be either a letter or a underscore it should not start with number an identifier should not start with number it should start it should start either with a letter or an underscore you cannot use keywords like int float double etc so keywords are the reserved reserved words uh, for the compiler so those keywords should not be used we'll try to understand the definition of the keyword in the in the next section so this is the definition we'll try to understand what is meant by keyword keyword should not be used as an identifier so because they are reserved for the compiler 
okay so let's so let's write some uh, valid identifiers for example if you take uh, underscore learning can it be a, a valid identifier yes it is a valid identifier and other one is uh, hello hello can also be a valid identifier for example if you want to create one two three abc is it a valid identifier no this is not a valid identifier because the first letter should always be a the first letter should always either be a letter or a uh, the first uh, should be a letter uh, lower case letter or upper case letter or it should be an underscore the next one is keywords in c so what is a keyword keywords are predefined or reserved words used in the programming that have special meaning to the compiler so the keywords are the uh, predefined or reserved words that are used by the compiler so they have special meaning and we have seen some of the keywords so far so let's try to understand that keywords are the are part of the syntax and they cannot be used as an identifier so the keywords are the part of the syntax and they cannot be used as an identifier example int cap for while so we haven't seen care and for uh, while and uh, for uh, we are going to understand those in our later classes so int care we have seen int int is a keyword so that is that should not be used as an identifier that cannot be created as an variable okay so that is that is very important to understand keywords these are what we call it as keyboard keywords tokens in c so what is meant by a token token is the smallest unit in a c program so this is the smallest unit in the c program so what it means is it is each and every word and punctuation that you come across in your c program whatever that is there in the c program it is what we call it as a token everything whatever we consider it may be a keyword it may be an identifier it may be a constant string it may be a uh, it may be a special character so that that is what we call it as a token okay let's consider this program and try to identify what are the keywords what are the what are the uh, identifiers and what are the uh, tokens so main is an identifier int is a keyword int is a keyword this these three are identifiers and printf is an identifier written is a keyword written is a keyword and semicolon is a token semicolon is a token this is also to everything is a token so but we are going to specify some of them so this is a token it may be an identifier it may be a keyword it may be a string it may be a constant whatever that is that we come across in our program is what we call it as a token so this is this is all about uh, identifier keyword and tokens hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching